guys, it's Valerie. I created this channel to help connect us to all the incredible culture, cuisine, and nature of the world. To keep creating videos like these, I need your help. So please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe below. Colombia, not Colombia like the American University, is a vibrant, fun Latin country in Northern South America. While it's known for the white powder, if you catch my drift, there's so much more to this beautiful country. It is home to some of the best quality emeralds, it's the most biodiverse country on the planet, and it's famous for its aromatic coffee. In this video, we're going to be exploring the wildly popular city of Cartagena, Colombia. It's known for its impressive European architecture, and its food is incredible! I'm going to share with you guys my top 11 picks for traditional, regional, and modern fare, and I'm going to tell you what to get and where to get it. So get cozy, put on your stretchy pants, because we're about to eat our way through the city. So, I quite literally got the Cartagena not just 20 minutes ago. First place I had to go to was food. So, I went to La Cevicheria, which is where the famous Anthony Bourdain also ate at. I love Anthony Bourdain. I also happen to love fresh seafood, which Cartagena is known for. So, quite I had to come. And I also make sure you order one of their very famous local drinks. It's called Coco Limonada. It is so good here. No shade to any of the other cities, but I've had this in other Colombian cities and it is so much better here. It has this really intense lime and kick to it, which is so refreshing because Cartagena is a very humid place. And look, my ceviche just came. I am so excited. Let's get a close up of that. Can you see it? So I got it with tangerine and lemon juice. Uh, fresh shrimp, fresh squid, and local fresh fish of the day. I can't wait. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for, for many, many weeks now. <laughs> so this is nearly a perfect bite. <laughs> it's so good. It has the perfect amount of acidity, which really just brightens the whole palate. I need to, to hide a bigger portion. No, gracias. <laughs> just gracias. Here comes the very sad part of every meal. And you don't have any more and you're too poor to buy more so if you want to help me buy more click like subscribe comment do all that fun stuff that you know you should do so i can afford to buy more ceviche in the meantime i will just be drinking the juice <laughs> So this is a very popular street treat in northern Colombia. It's called the Arepa de Huevo. She just happened to fill it with some chicken as well. But as you can see, they have the batter, they roll it out, they add a fresh raw egg to it, they cut it, and then they put it in the oil. And we have to stand this far away because it is hot. Oh, gracias. And there is mine. Ta-da! I'm excited to eat it. <laughs> I'm finally trying their famous arepa de huevo. I'm finally trying their famous arepa de huevo. And uh, honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. It's literally just a egg that's inside the arepa batter. And then of course it's fried. Favorite? No. Um, if you're not an adventurous eater, then this is definitely a way to go because you know exactly what you're gonna get. If you ever had a fried egg, if you ever had something kind of corn batterish? This is that. If you see the orange juices on the street, you absolutely need to grab a glass. I bought mine in front of the church of Santo Domingo. And don't forget to try their cocadas, a coconut-based traditional sweet that you can buy from the street vendors. Next up, amazing fish from a little hole in the wall that a lot of tourists don't go to. So I got pescado frito, but I did not realize it was gonna be this big. A whole fish. Yeah, I knew it was a whole fish, but I was hoping it was a really tiny fish. It's like two of my hands. I was hungry, but not this hungry. <laughs> the food is very affordable. It is so crispy on the outside while the inside is perfectly moist and so flavorful. And I also recommend getting a juice while you're there because the mango juice was delicious and you really do need to stay hydrated when you're at Cartagena. Right now it is 100 degrees if not higher and the humidity is about 75%. And when you're dying from the heat, the paletas are divine. If you want to experience popular eats in Cartagena with a beautiful view, then you absolutely must try the food at Harry Sasson's restaurant. This place is so beautiful. And that's the dinner courtyard. Look at that. Wow. I guess that's why my crab nachos are so... <gasps> oh my god. I am in love. This place is so cute. <laughs> and they even bring me bread and butter. Who doesn't like bread and butter, right? <laughs> I came for crab nachos. I did not realize Miss Fancy Pants picked a Fancy Pants place. I mean, look how pretty this place is. Sorry, it's really hard to uh, video record this place from this angle. It's so cute and romantic. Now, oh, necesito un novio. <laughs> 
And once you've had all the amazing noms in Centro de Cartagena, then it's time to get off the bean path and try some of the ceviche on the outskirts of Gesemani. Look how amazing that is! Oh my god, the portions are huge. So I asked the lady who works here, I was like, you know, what's your favorite ceviche? And she recommended the ceviche bomba, which apparently has calamari, has oops, uh, shrimp, and octopus. And it comes with these amazing little plantain chips and plenty of plenty of avocado, which is avocado. Oh my god, it smells so divine. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna get a hefty bite of everything. <laughs> Out of this world, so good. Highly recommend it. I love the La Cibicheria in Central, but this is completely different. It's a whole new ballpark and it's so good. So in this episode of Val versus Food, Food won. And don't forget the famous garlic shrimp. I didn't love La Mulatas, but it does come highly recommended. And when you're in Colombia, you absolutely have to try all the wonderful local fruits they have there. Here, I'm just babbling about not knowing what it is and not knowing how to cut it. So if you know what this fruit is called, then please comment below. But anyways, what I love to do is I love to go to all the little street vendors with their fruits and just point at all the random ones I've never seen before. And it always is delicious. He said it's really sweet. So let's give this a shot. I can tell there's seeds in it, similar to like a mangosteen or guanabana. Please don't die, please don't die. Oh, oh, this is good. I have no idea how to describe this. Oh, it's almost like a persimmon, but like a stringier persimmon. So that's one of the segments. Let me know if you guys have had this and what exactly is it called? Because I would love to learn something new today. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me on this culinary adventure. And if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I've also linked some of my favorite videos above. There's so many wonderful food tours I've been on and I can't wait for even more. Until next time, bye guys.